Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today I have an absolute beginner's Pilates workout for you designed to work the full body. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start today's class on our back. So sitting up nice and tall with your knees bent, hold on to the back of your thighs and carefully roll yourself down vertebra by vertebra onto your back. Bend your knees and make sure that your feet are hip distance apart. Let's make a diamond shape with our hands now. So bring your thumbs together and your first fingers together to make a diamond. Then place your hands on the top of your pelvis. Make sure that the heels of your hands are on your hip bones and your fingers are pointed downwards. On your exhale, tuck your pelvis under and press your lower back down into the floor. And then inhale, arch your spine slightly. Exhale, tuck your pelvis under, finding your imprinted spine. And then inhale, rock your pelvis forward, arching your back slightly. Let's do this a few more times, just gently rocking through our pelvis. Notice that when you imprint your spine, your fingers are pointed slightly upwards and that when you arch your spine, your fingers are pointed downwards. Let's now come to that middle ground. So finding our neutral spine, take your hands onto your rib cage now and on your inhale, feel your ribs expand, pressing into your hands. Then on your exhale, drop your ribs down towards your hips. So on your inhale, you expand through your rib cage and exhale, draw your ribs in and down towards your hips. Keep going. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Another good little tip is to place your thumbs at the bottom of your ribs and your fingers on the top of your hips. Take an inhale. Then on your exhale, really feel that gap close between your ribs and your hips. Do this a few more times, keeping your neutral spine. Beautiful job. Let's maintain that rib to hip connection now, drawing the abdominals in and press your hands down by your side. Keeping your hips nice and square, Inhale, drop your left knee out to the side. Then exhale, bring it back through center. Inhale, drop your right knee to the side. Exhale, come back through center. Place your hands on top of your hips here to make sure that they are staying nice and still. I really want you to use the strength of your abdominals to draw your knee back through center. Inhale as you drop the knee, exhale as you bring it through center. Really nice controlled movements here. Let's do one more on each side. Maybe lowering the leg a little bit more. Well done. Release your arms up to the ceiling now, keeping your shoulders down and relaxed. And on your exhale, reach your arms overhead by your ears, keeping your rib cage in. Then inhale, bring them back up. So exhale, reach your arms back, drop your ribs down to your hips. Inhale, reach your arms back up. Just three more like this. Again, really controlled movements here. Maintaining your neutral spine, making sure that you're not flaring through your rib cage. Last one.
Well done. Interlace your fingers now and place your hands behind your head with your elbows wide, really supporting your head with your hands. Maintaining your neutral spine, inhale, really pull up through your pelvic floor muscles. Then exhale, lift your head and shoulders up, dropping your ribs down to your hips and making sure that your chin is slightly dropped down towards your chest. Then inhale, carefully lower your head down. So exhale, curl up, taking a nice exhale out through the mouth. Inhale, lower back down. Keep going. Really trying to use the strength of your abdominals to lift your head and shoulders up versus pulling with your hands. One more. Well done. Let's add to this movement now. So exhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Inhale at the top. Then exhale, twist to your left. Inhale through center, exhale, twist to the right, inhale through center, and exhale, lower back down. Take an inhale to prepare, then exhale, curl up, inhale, hold, exhale, twist to the left, inhale, center, exhale, twist right, inhale, center, and exhale, release. Keep going. We have three more just like this. Really focusing on moving with your breath here. It's really important that you maintain your breath all throughout your workout. If at any point you lose track of the breath pattern, that is totally fine. As long as you are still breathing, that's perfect. Let's do one more. Exhale, curl up, maybe a little bit higher. Hold at the top. Then exhale, twist to the left, inhale, center, exhale, twist right, inhale, center, and exhale, lower back down. Well done. Rest your hands by your side again. And now let's walk our feet in closer towards our glutes, making sure they're close enough where you can just tickle the backs of your heels with your fingertips. Keeping your feet hip distance apart. On your exhale, Tuck your pelvis under, finding that imprinted spine, and then press through your heels and lift your hips up, finding your bridge position. Make sure that your ribs stay in and down towards your hips. Inhale at the top, really squeezing your glutes. Then exhale with control, roll your hips back down. Inhale, hold at the bottom. Then exhale, tuck your pelvis under, roll your hips up, squeezing your glutes. Inhale at the top, then exhale, come back down. Keep going, you have three more like this. Really press through your heels to activate through the base of your glutes, making sure that you're keeping your shoulders drawing back and down. We're really targeting the glutes here. Let's do one more. Exhale, roll your hips up. Press through your hands to help you if you need to. Inhale, hold at the top. And now let's release our arms up to the ceiling. Keeping your hips nice and lifted. Exhale, reach your arms back by your ears. Then inhale, bring them back up. So exhale, reach them back, keeping your ribs closed in and down. Inhale as you bring your arms back up. Keep going. Make sure that you're not arching your spine. Really tuck your pelvis under, squeezing your glutes. Last one. Beautiful job. Keep your arms up to the ceiling or place them back down on the mat if you need. And let's pulse our hips now. Inhale, lower your hips, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Just a really small range of motion here. Inhale, down an inch, exhale, up an inch. You've got it. Really reach your fingers up towards the ceiling, 
press down through the heels of your feet. Two more. Last one. Well done. On your next exhale, roll your hips down vertebra by vertebra. Beautiful job. Lower your hands down by your side again. And this time, let's find our imprinted spine. So slightly tuck your pelvis under and press your lower back down into the floor. But make sure that your tailbone is still connected to the mat. Lift one leg at a time to a tabletop position, making sure that your knees are stacked over your hips and that they are hip distance apart. On your exhale, tap your right toes down to the floor, then inhale, bring your leg back up. Exhale, tap your left toes down, inhale, bring it back up. Keep going. Really make sure that as you tap your toe down, that you're keeping your lower back pressed down into the mat, making sure that you are not arching your spine. You've got it. Nice exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose. Let's do one more. Well done. Interlace your fingers behind your head again with your elbows wide. Let's add to this movement. Lift your head and shoulders up on your next exhale, finding your abdominal curl. Inhale, hold at the top. Then this time on your exhale, as you drop your right toes down, let's twist over to the left. Then inhale, come back through center. Exhale, tap your left toes, twist to the right. Inhale, back through center. Keep going. Really trying to bring that opposite elbow up towards the opposite knee, keeping your chin slightly dropping down towards your chest to protect your neck. Keep going, exhale, twist, inhale, center, exhale, twist, inhale, center. Just one more on each side. You can do it. Well done, hold through center, maybe lift your head and shoulders up a few more inches. Breathe, breathe, breathe and then carefully lower yourself down. Well done, turn your head right and left to release any tension and then lower your feet back down on the floor. Let's roll over to our side now and press yourself up to seated. Then come onto your hands and your knees, finding your kneeling tabletop position. Make sure your hands are directly underneath your shoulders, your knees directly underneath your hips. On your inhale, allow your spine to arch slightly, dropping your navel down towards the mat. Then exhale, draw your navel up towards your spine, closing your ribs down to your hips to find your core engagement. And again, inhale, drop your navel down. Then exhale, pull your navel up, finding that core engagement. Just a couple more like this. As you draw your navel up, I want you to find that really nice straight spine, dropping your ribs down towards your hips. One more. Well done. Let's keep our navel drawing up towards our spine making one long line with our body. Then keeping your hips still, inhale, extend your right leg back. Exhale, lift the leg up. Inhale, lower. And exhale, slide the leg back in. Other side, inhale, slide the left leg out. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bring it in. Keep going. I really want you to focus on drawing your navel in, making sure that your spine is nice and straight. 
think of one long line all the way from the crown of your head to your tailbone and to the tip of your toes. On this next one, hold your right leg extended and flex the foot. Let's pulse the leg up 10 times. You lift and lift. Nice exhale and exhale. Really tucking your pelvis under slightly, keeping your abs engaged. Three, two, and one. Well done. Point your toe, lower the leg down and bring your right knee in. Let's repeat starting with the left now. So inhale, stretch the left leg back, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, slide it in. Inhale, right leg, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, bring it in. Just three more like this. Really focusing on that control, pairing your breath with your movement. Then on this last one, hold your left leg lifted, flex the foot, and let's take those 10 pulses. Here we go. Exhale, lift, and lift. Keeping your navel drawing up to your spine, keeping your gaze towards the top edge of your mat. Just three more, two, and one. Well done, lower the leg down. And let's now come on to our side. So coming down onto the right side of your body, stretch your right arm long and rest your head on your arm. Bend your knees so that your knees come out at a slight diagonal from your hips and make sure that your hips and your knees and your feet are stacked on top of one another. Place your left hand onto your hip and really push your hip away from you so that you find a nice lift through the underside of your waist. So there should be a little pocket of air between your waist and the mat. Keeping your hips nice and still, exhale, open your left knee, keeping your toes together. Then inhale, lower the knees back down. So exhale, open your left knee, keeping your toes together. Inhale, lower. Three more, just like this. Moving with as much control as you can, only opening that knee as wide as you can without rocking through your hips. Now you can stay with this, or if you want to, lift your feet off the floor and let's do the same thing. Exhale, open your top knee, keeping your toes together. Inhale, lower. Bringing your left fingertips down onto the floor in front of you, if that feels better for you. Keep going. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed down and back. We're just working through our hip here and our glutes. Last one. Maybe open the knee a little bit more. Well done. Lower your feet back down now and let's add to this movement. Press your hip away, making sure that you're lifted through the underside of your waist. Inhale, open your left knee, then exhale, extend the leg out in line with the rest of your body. Inhale, bring your toes together and exhale, close the left knee down. And again, inhale, open, exhale, extend, keeping those hips still. Inhale, toes come together. Exhale, close the knee. Just three more like this. Make sure that you are still thinking about your good technique. So keeping your rib cage closed in and drawing down to your hips, making sure that you're not arching through your spine. On this last one, hold your leg extended, keeping your hips still yet again. On your inhale, flex the foot, draw the leg forward. Then exhale, point your toes, kick the leg back. So inhale as you kick forward, exhale as you kick back. 
propping yourself up onto your elbow if that feels a little bit more comfortable for you. You've got it. Make sure that as you kick the leg back that you're not arching your spine. Let's hold the leg back now, flex the foot and finish with 10 pulses, reaching your left arm up. Let's lift the leg up and up. Nice, exhale and exhale. Just six more, five, maybe a little higher, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower the leg down and press yourself up to seated. Keeping your knees bent to your side. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over to the left. Then inhale, place your right forearm down and exhale, stretch your left arm over. One more. Inhale, come up. Exhale, stretch to the left. Inhale, lower your right forearm down and exhale, stretch over. Beautiful job. Let's take it to the other side now. So lying down on the left side of your body, reach your left arm long, resting your head on your arm. Bend your knees and take your hand on top of your hip and press your hip away from you, finding that nice lift through the underside of your waist. On your exhale, open your right knee. Inhale, close. Exhale, open, keeping your hips nice and still. Inhale, lower. Just three more like this. Really getting into the outside of our glutes. And last one. Beautiful. Either stay here or if you want to lift your feet off the floor now. Same thing. Exhale, open your right knee. Inhale, close. This one is a little bit more challenging. You should feel that outer glute switch on just a little bit more. You've got it. Use your breath to help you. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. One more. Well done. Lower your feet down and prop yourself up onto your elbow if that feels good for you. Inhale, open your right knee. Exhale, extend the leg out. Inhale, join your toes back together and exhale, close the knee down. Inhale, open. Exhale, extend. Inhale, toes come together. Exhale, lower. Just three more like this. Making sure that you extend that leg out so that it's in line with the rest of your body. Slightly tucking your pelvis under dropping your ribs down to your hips, keeping those abs engaged. On this last one, hold your leg extended, maybe press that top hip away from you a little bit more, and then on your inhale, flex the foot, kick your leg forward, exhale, point, kick the leg back. Inhale, flex, kick forward, exhale, point, kick back. Just three more. Only kicking the leg forward as far as you can without shifting through your hips or losing your core engagement. On this last one, let's hold our leg extended back, flex the foot and reach your right arm up. Let's finish with those pulses. Exhale, lift and lift. Just eight more. Really pressing through the right heel, finding more length through your leg. Just three more, two and one. Beautiful job. Press yourself back up, keeping your knees bent to the right side of you now. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend over to the right. 
then inhale take your left forearm down and exhale stretch your right arm over one more really breathing into this mermaid stretch gorgeous okay let's now come down onto the front side of our body so resting down on our bellies bend your elbows out by your side making a nice 90 degree angle with your arms making sure your elbows are in line with your shoulders keep your legs relaxed but really focus on drawing your navel up to your spine keeping your arms and your forehead rested on the mat on your exhale really draw your shoulder blades down towards your hips activating through your back muscles then inhale relax your shoulders so exhale really think of rolling your shoulders back dropping your shoulder blades down to your hips then inhale relax just three more really activating through our back muscles here. Two more. And last one. Now hold that engagement through your back muscles. On your inhale, lift your chest, keeping your gaze down towards the floor. Then exhale, lower back down. So inhale, lift your chest, keep rolling those shoulders back, activating through your back. Exhale as you lower. Three more like this. Keep drawing your navel up towards your spine, avoiding any excess arching through your back. Let's do one more just like this. Maybe lifting up a little bit higher. Well done. Let's add to this movement now. So roll your shoulders back. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lift your elbows up. Inhale, lower them down. Exhale, lower your chest. Four more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift your arms. Inhale, lower your arms. Exhale, lower your chest. Keep going. Moving at your own pace. Moving with your breath, finding that control. Let's do one more. And now hold your elbows lifted. Let's just draw some circles. Inhale, reach your hands forward. Exhale, sweep them out to the side and back in. Inhale forward, exhale around and in. Just three more. Staying nice and lifted through your chest. Drawing the shoulders back and down. Last one. Well done, lower your body down and let's close our legs together. Take your hands underneath your shoulders and press yourself up and back into your child's pose. Just releasing any tension through the lower back here. Taking nice deep breaths. Let's carefully roll our spine up to seated now and get ready for our final series of class. So coming up onto your knees, finding a high kneeling position, feel free to place a cushion under your knees if you have sensitive knees, and then find your straight spine, draw your navel in and drop your tailbone. Reaching your arms down by your sides with your palms facing back, let's slightly hinge forward from the hips, but keeping your navel drawing in. On your exhale, press your palms back up towards the ceiling, then inhale, lower back down. So exhale, press your hands back and inhale lower. Really rolling the shoulder blades back, 
finding nice engagement through the back of your arms and through your triceps. Last one. Hold your arms back. Let's rotate the palms down and up. Nice inhale and exhale. Just three more. Two. Last one. Now hold your palms up, take little pulses. Up and up. Nice exhale and exhale. Keep your gaze towards the front edge of your mat, keeping your neck nice and long. Two more. Last one, hold your arms lifted. Let's flip those palms down and up. Nice inhale and exhale. Three more, you can do it. Two, last one. Now hold your palms down, let's pulse it out. You lift and lift. This is your last exercise of class. Keep going, you can do it. Just four more, three, two, and one. Well done. Rest your hips down onto your heels. Take a few little shoulder rolls if that feels good for you. And now let's stretch it out. So come to a seated position on your mat with your legs crossed. Reach your left arm across your body, gently drawing your left arm in with your right hand, keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed, just breathing into this stretch. Then reach your left hand overhead, gently drawing your left elbow in towards the center of your body behind your head. Then carefully release, let's switch sides. Stretch your right arm across your chest, keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed. Then reach your right arm overhead, gently drawing that right elbow in towards the center behind you. Really breathing into this well-deserved stretch for your shoulders. Then carefully release your arms down, shift your weight back onto your glutes, and let's flex our left foot and cross our left foot over our right thigh. Really open your left knee out, trying to sit up nice and tall here so you feel a stretch for that left glute. Then drop your left foot over to the right, coming into a cross-legged position. Draw your left knee in towards your chest, sitting up nice and tall. Then reach your right arm up and turn towards your left, finding a nice twist through your spine. On every inhale, find length through your spine. And on every exhale, twist a little deeper. Then inhale, come back through center, and exhale, twist the other way, bringing your left arm to the inside of your left knee, sitting up nice and tall. Beautiful, come back through center, and let's switch sides. So flex your right foot, and cross your right foot over your left thigh. Keeping your right knee open, sitting up nice and tall, finding a nice stretch for that right glute. And then drop your right foot over to the left, crossing your right leg over your left here. Let's draw our knees in, sitting up nice and tall. Then inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, twist over to your left. looking over your left shoulder if that feels good for you.
then inhale come back through center exhale twist over to the right finding more length on every inhale and exhale finding a deeper twist Beautiful. Let's come back through center now, finding our comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, side bend over to your left. Making sure both sitting bones are firmly rooted down into the mat. Then let's come back up, other side, inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Carefully come back up and let's finish class today with one last big inhale, reaching your arms up to the ceiling and exhale, lower your hands down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this absolute beginner's class and that you found it helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I am wishing you all the most beautiful day.